"'Twas the night before Vlogmas, when all through the house, not a puppy was stirring, not even a mouse. Cameras were charged by the outlets with care, burnout looming above us. Help me, I'm scared. The puppies were resting, cookies baking in the oven. The calendar was stuffed with plans by the dozen. As the night winds down, we snuggle up in bed. As the worries of Vlogmas begin to haunt Remy's head. All right, Rem. It's your 10th year of Vlogmas. You ready? I don't know. I just keep feeling like something's gonna go wrong. You'll be fine. Okay. Good night. Good night. everyone and welcome to vlogmas day 15 i cannot believe it is only 10 days until christmas we are here in big bear and cooking with remy is getting started i'm so excited to make breakfast for everybody it's gonna be so much fun and i thought we could uh make breakfast together so we're here in the kitchen first up though i already heated up some water hi corn do you want to say hi to vlogmas say hi to vlogmas Oh, corn say hi to vlogmas. Hello. He does not like it. Water is heated. I'm feeling amazing today. I woke up this morning naturally at 8 a.m. and then realized that my throat was kind of, you know, a little sore still. I got my wellness tea and I forced myself to sleep another hour and a half and now I feel so much better. I think that this is just all from a lack of sleep. I wish I had brought my humidifier though because the air is obviously dry up here in the mountains and it's probably not helping, but I have my tea. So I'm gonna drink this. I'm gonna drink a liquid IV. And we're gonna get on with breakfast. Today we're doing peach, white peach. I'm gonna put my liquid IV in my new bottle that Kim Ty got me, so sweet. I brought her up here so I can fill it up and stay hydrated. Reminder everyone, drink your water, here we go. Three big sips, people. All right, let me clean this out. We'll fill her up and then we'll get to making breakfast. All right, we have our water in our jug, nice and cleaned out. We have ice. Gonna add in our liquid IV. Check, check, check. We've got our tea, all the liquids. Once I have all these, then I will have my coffee. Here we go, lid on. Give her a good shaky shake. And then this bottle that Kim got me, you pull this up, you push this button, and you can either drink from the spout or there's a straw right here. Mmm, that's amazing. It's like an adult sippy cup. Thanks, Kimmy. All right, cooking with Remy breakfast. We are going to make some soft scrambled eggs. For that, you need eggs as well as a little bit of milk. And I'm gonna fold in some of this new truffle boars and cheese at the end to make it really delicious and truffly. And then we're gonna make some bacon in the oven. Super easy to do. And then for pancakes, I'm gonna use this Kodiak Power Cakes flapjack mix. And I'm gonna make some blueberry pancakes. I'm gonna do some chocolate chip pancakes. And then I'm gonna also do some chocolate chip, or I guess maybe I'll just put the banana on top of the chocolate chip and make a chocolate chip banana pancake. So that is what's on the menu. Let's get started with the, I guess the bacon needs to go first because that's gonna take the longest. So let me get her ready. For the easiest way to cook bacon, I have lined a sheet with aluminum foil. I'm gonna pull my sleeves up and we are just going to lay it out on a cookie sheet. So I'm just gonna open her up and then lay them all nice and flat so that they all cook at the same time. Oops, I should have taken my ring off. Okay, we'll just sanitize that after. I found a nice little formation on my tray where they're just barely touching and we're gonna throw this into a, normally I do a 400 degree oven, but because we are in the mountains and the altitude, I am doing 350 and I'm gonna let them go in for like 10 minutes and then I'll check on them, but that will go in. Set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Perfect, okay. Now I'm gonna work on the pancakes. So I'm going to just open this up and I'm just going to add water up until this line and then we'll give her a shake. How easy is this? Water, shake. Easy enough. Stove is heating up for the pancakes. Now in my bowl, I'm gonna do my eggs. I'm just gonna do a few. Look at these eggs, you guys. They're all blue. I love them. I just think the yolks are so much more delicious with these heritage eggs. 
Oh yeah, look how orange that is. Oh, you can't see it. Can you see here? Nope, can't see it. Look at that. Orange, flavorful, and more nutrient dense. All right, I'm gonna do like five, I think. Two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're just gonna do a little bit of milk in there. Just a little bit. And then we mix it up. Mm. Okay, I believe our stove is nice and hot. Ready for the pancakes. I'm gonna take my mix and just squeeze her in. Hope for the best, here we go. <gasps> you nice control, I will say, with this thing. Okay, I'm gonna do three. <gasps> they look good. Okay, pancakes in. Now we'll add in our toppings. Let's start with the chocolate. Chocolate chips right in there. Ooh, the bacon's cooking, it smells so good. Okay, that looks good. Now, we wait. Over here, the stove is on very, very, very low heat, and I'm going to spray it with some spray oil. And then, oh my gosh. We're gonna pour in our eggs. And let those cook. Ooh, I'm gonna add garlic powder to the eggs and salt and pepper. Okay, I think it's time to flip the pancakes. <gasps> They're perfect. Ah, it was perfect. Look at that. Okay, keep flipping. Oh my God, they're perfectly cooked, you guys. Now you guys know with the eggs, we just keep them moving on low, low heat and form those soft little scramble curds. Just keep them moving. Bacon needs a lot longer. I'm gonna do another like eight minutes or so. Now I have some washed and dried blueberries. Here's our chocolate chip stack. I think the blueberries are ready to flip already. Ooh -hoo. Beautiful, look how good these look. All right, I'm gonna keep cooking these and I'm gonna fold the cheese into the eggs very soon and then the bacon should be ready and we're good to go. Okay, eggs are like almost done if you can see. Almost done, now I'm gonna fold some of this cheese into it. Maybe like a tablespoon or two. You don't need much. And then while it's warm, the residual heat will melt the cheese. All up in there. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. I'm just gonna let it sit off the heat. Look at these flipping scales, you ready? Ooh. All right, 20 minutes later, the bacon is nice and crispy and ready. Pancakes are done. We have the blueberry, the chocolate chip, and then I slice bananas on the plate. We've got the bacon over here, draining on some paper towels. And then I also figured I would bake off some of the cookie dough that I brought. So this I made a couple vlogs back. It's the uh, chocolate chip cookie dough recipe that I have. But instead of doing regular chocolate chips, I added in a peppermint bark mix, which had like peppermint bark pieces, white chocolate and semi-sweet chocolate. And then to make them extra special, I also brought my favorite peppermint bark from Costco. And I'm gonna break it up into tiny little pieces. All right, I've got tiny little pieces, and then I'm gonna put a little bit on the top of each cookie. I'm gonna flatten them out a bit so we have more surface area. And then we'll do a little peppermint bark on each one. So cute. Mm-hmm. I was thinking of maybe doing it after they're baked too. We'll see how they look. I've never done this before. If you've never tried Costco peppermint bark, you are missing out, my friends. It is so good. Okay, a little peppermint bark. Yum. And then I also brought a little flaky salt, which I'm gonna put on the top of each cookie and on top of the eggs. A little bit. I'm gonna bake these at 400 for like eight minutes or so and then see where they're at. And then I'm gonna serve up breakfast. All right, eggs are on the plate. I'm gonna top each with a little bit of pepper. Ooh, yes, pepper. A little flaky salt right on top. Oh, that looks amazing. I love coming up here because I love being able to cook for everybody. It's so fun for me. Okay, a little 
flaky salt on there. We'll do a couple pieces of bacon for everybody. That looks amazing. And breakfast is done. The cookies are done, and Laura said <laughs> it's really good. It is a little doughy, Mia. Do you want me to bake one more for you? You sure? Um, if you guys like the dough, oh. would love to eat the edges while someone eats the middle. Yeah, I love the middle. Well, let me just bake one longer. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. I'm gonna try one of these cookies on camera. She is a little doughy. Oh my God, look at this. <gasps> Oh, it's really doughy. I should bake it a little longer, actually. I'm gonna bake these. Outside, though. Oh, this is that one brand. Mm. Hello, all. Breakfast was amazing. Now I'm gonna give you a little house tour. It's a little messy already, but just disregard. We've been living in it since yesterday, obviously. All right, front door. If you recognize this place, we actually stayed here last year, last Vlogmas, and it's super comfy and cozy. We got the TV, which uh, we're gonna watch lots of movies today. Ample seating to lay out and be comfortable. We got the kitchen. Kitchen. We got a corn. Here we've got our little dining area and our little kitchen area. This is where you sit when I do all the cooking. Mia's over there doing the dishes. Hello, Mia. Beautiful job. We've got kitchen here. Laura this way in her comfy cozy. We got a little desk area here. And then over here, this is Laura's room. Oh, we got the bathroom here. And then this is Laura's room. Gorge, nice big comfy bed. Nice bathroom in here. Hello. Okay. This way, we've got Mia's room, which she and Ken slept in this cute little bunky bed situation. And then last but not least, we have my room over here, which I've been taught by Lauren to bring comfy, cozy blankets, like bring your own blanket from home and your own pillow. And I slept like a baby. And I really think that's why I'm feeling so much better today. That's just about it. I got my suitcase that I already dug into and it's just like a cute little cozy cabin. So now I'm gonna go lay down and probably take a nap. Bye. All we've done is eat brunch today and sit around on the couch. It is now 2.49 p.m. and I figured I would make, oh, <gasps> it's time to buy Twice tickets, hold on. Twice announced they're doing a show in Vegas, so Erica Titus and I are currently about to jump on and try and buy tickets to go, but I figured I would do a what I eat in a day today because uh, all I'm gonna do today is eat, so. Okay, so right now I'm having a cup of coffee. It's almost 3 p.m. Gonna have my first little bit of caffeine for the day. I'm gonna add in some of the Califia peppermint mocha. Ooh, it's so good. Not much is going on right now, so I'll update you if anything ever happens. It's time! Hello guys, updates. It's just myself and Ken. Say hi to the camera, baby. Yes. So it's just us. My allergies are acting up a little bit because of sweet boy here, but worth every little every little sneeze. So I'm actually here alone because Mia decided to go get her nipple pierced and Lauren took her. I wasn't able to go because the piercing shop only lets one person in. So I was like, honestly guys, you go, I will stay. It's probably better for me also to be like in a nice warm area instead of going out into the cold right now when I'm not feeling 100% my best. So I'm just chilling here. I'm just watching some Vlogmas. I'm gonna start editing this vlog and then I am going to start planning what I'm gonna make for Christmas dinner. Sorry, this vlog has not been super exciting, but I have to say Day. This is like the most relaxing day I've had thus far in Vlogmas and I am very much enjoying myself I think the girls are gonna pick up dinner on the way home and then we're gonna just like hot tub tonight Watch movies have some cookies. It's gonna be really relaxing. So yes, just wanted to do a little check-in I guess we can plan Christmas dinner together. Shall we? Oh also in case you guys did not know I'll pop you guys right there My Christmas episode of cooking with Remy just went up on the main channel today I'll leave it linked down below if you guys want to watch it There were really good recipes in there planning what I'm doing for dinner and then also I I am cooking Christmas breakfast this year too because I have people actually staying at the house. So I'm super excited. I wanna make homemade cinnamon rolls, but I've actually never tried that. So I'm a little worried to like have my first time possibly be the day that I serve them. So I'm gonna try and think of some recipes and some things that I wanna create and I'll walk you guys through it after. So give me a minute and then I'll tell you what's on the menu in a second. The way I have not moved from this couch all day, I decided what I'm gonna do for Christmas breakfast. I picked some things that I could like pre-make and plan and have them in the fridge ready to go and then just pop them in the oven on the morning of and not be, you know, spending all morning actually cooking. So for the menu, I decided on a sausage breakfast casserole that has like the eggs, the sausage and the potatoes all in one. So it's super easy to prep that. We're gonna do crispy bacon. We're gonna do cinnamon rolls, which I'll prep the day before and then strawberries and blueberries. And then for Christmas dinner, I made the spreadsheet. So this is what I'm providing. And then my mom and my aunt and Lily will bring other stuff as well to kind of fill in the gaps, but it's a lot of food already. I'm gonna prep another turkey. The turkey went over so well 
well. This year I'm gonna do another turkey. I'm gonna do kalbi, which are Korean short ribs, and then Cal's gonna smoke some sort of meat, like ribs or a prime rib or something. And then for side dishes, I'm gonna do scalloped potatoes, roasted Brussels sprouts, garlic bread rolls, and stuffing. And then for appetizers, I'm gonna do goat cheese stuffed dates, which are so good. Super easy to make too. Uh, cheddar cheese dip, and then baked brie bites. And I think that is like more than enough stuff for desserts. I'm just getting pies, and then my mom will probably bring like her famous creamed corn, her creamed spinach. My aunt will probably do like the deviled eggs that are so good that she makes. And then we'll kind of fill in the other stuff. But that like is a perfect meal from what I think. And then now I need to just figure out all the ingredients that I need to get, what grocery stores I need to go to, when I need to go to those stores, and then when I need to start prepping everything. So I work backwards now, but the menu sounds perfect. And uh, I am gonna start working on that now. Yeah, it has like I'm getting marks. a look-see. Yeah. Oh my God, it has pen marks on it. Okay, I'm getting a look at the new piercing. Oh, it's so little and petite. Yeah, it's like little and petite. Just little such babies. a little petite for a little baby petite yeah, little boob. Exactly. Oh my god, <laughs> baby petite little boob. Actually, giant boob, tiny little nipple. It's perfect. It's so straight too. Wow. I think you might I'm gonna die if like there's a reflection behind <laughs> us. <laughs> the girlies got me a humidifier. I'm gonna keep this room so steamy. Our throats are all gonna be nice and moist. Ollie, I know you're watching this. Are you proud of us? He gets mad at me every night for not sleeping with the humidifier. And look who's sick and look who's not. She's working. It does say small room, but I mean, this will have to work in here for tonight and then I'll put it in my bedroom tonight. Look at that. Ken's getting his sweater put on. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> He's gonna be a little elf. Oh my God. Oh my God. <gasps> you look so, so handsome. Hello everybody. We watched a wonderful Christmas movie, the one with Kristen Stewart called Happiest Season. And now I'm having a little appetizer of some sour sketty. I have to say, I got one desaturated string and I think it is mystery flavor. And also I got the golden ticket because normally there's only red, pink, blue, or green. And look at this, Whoa. desaturated. Oh my God, that was bright. That was like a real worm. It does. I wonder what flavor it is. Let me see, cleanse the palate. No flavor. Shut the fuck up, no flavor? Just bland. No way. I swear, it's okay. just the give sugar. Me a, give me a Here, finish it. One in a million. You're one in a million. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that was my appetizer. Now time for dinner. We are doing a gourmet dinner. Oh, we were gonna pick up dinner, but nowhere in Big Bear was doing takeout tonight. So tonight I'm doing a gourmet dinner of cup of noodle. I haven't had like a bowl noodle like this in so long, but I'll show you. Truly in a year, my annual cup of noodle. Ooh, so here I go. All right, it says that we take off the whole lid and we have our noodles in our soup base. And I'm just gonna pour the packet in. Wow, I'm actually like really excited about this. Okay, pack it in like so, and then we fill, come come with me this way. We fill it with water up to the line. Mmm. Laura, nudes. what are you having for dinner, Laura? Butter nudes round two. We got butter nudes round two. <laughs> Mia's eating chicken drumsticks, and I'm eating this. I woke up and I came out and she was just eating one in the dark alone this morning. Real just a cold. single drumstick cold. We all know I can't do ramen without an egg. So I'm gonna just crack some eggs in there and microwave them. Hope for the best. I think it'll be okay, right? Now I cook for four minutes in the microwave. Woo! Mmm. Oh, that's actually really good. I do like my noodles on the softer side. So I might let it sit for a bit, but I'll do a taste test for you guys. Wow. Mmm. Tastes like childhood. Mmm. <laughs> we are watching the Bachelor in Paradise finale. Yay! I would sneak into my room to do today's small business haul, which I'm so excited about. This comes from Sumner Lane. I packed this in my bag so I could do this with you guys today. I have a really fun one to show you guys tomorrow before we leave. It's a wellness journal. I thought it was so, so cute. So it says, cool girls have wellness journals. There are a bunch of different options. It comes with this cute little light blue pen. I cannot wait to 
right in here with that. In 2024, I definitely want to be more physical with my writing. I'm always taking notes and things on my phone and I love lists and I love jotting down things that come into my head. But in 2024, I just want to be more physical with it. So in the morning and night when I'm able to, I can fill this out. It says like, what's my intention for the day? The steps I'm taking to get to my goals today, exercise activity for the day, self-care meals. And then at the end of the day, it's like I had a good day because I'm grateful for. And I just think it'd be really good to have all these things to write down and be able to look back on at the end of the year. And yes, on that note, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Of course, I will leave them linked down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Tomorrow we have a bit more of an exciting day, but honestly not much again because it's vacation. We're just living, laughing, and loving. And I'll see you guys in the next one.